Bushido is recognized on the battlefield. This is the way of the Samurai. Hello YouTube, this is Chris Maniac, your friendly neighborhood maniac, bringing you folks another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. And this battle is against my boy Godwin, and this is an NU battle. And right here, looking at our teams, this is my um, offensive NU team. Uh, this team is basically here to set up rocks with my uh, Golurk, and then hit my opponent really hard with like hard-hitting Pokemon like my Samurott, my Luxray, my... Um, my Haunter, my Combuskin, and my Golurk. And my Leafyon is just there to heal ball, heal ball in case like uh, there's any Willow that's coming my way. And Goblin, he looks like he has a pretty, um, I don't know, like random assortment of NU Pokemon. I can't really see any sort of strategy that and synergy that they can come up with each other, except for like, um, I don't know, I can't, I can't really see anything with his team. But he still does pretty good in this match. But, anyways, I leave off my Golurk, and his job is to set up rocks. And, um, he expects me to attack my opponent, but I don't. I go for the Stealth Rocks right away because this is this is my Golurk from my Pokemon Black 2. Or White 2. I have White 2 instead of Black. So, I set up Rocks right there. I done my job and I bring in Paulette, my um, Combuskin. And right here, he goes for a Shadow Sneak. And I'm like, okay, I can take this and I can set up a Swords Dance and I can possibly do a lot of damage to this team. But this Kecleon does so much damage. I, I know it's Life 4 and this probably max attack, but damn. That could have done more damage than I thought. But anyways, they go for the Flare Blitz on his Steve, and it does a whole lot of damage to it, like like uh, 90%, well not 90%, like 70% of damage to this Kecleon. And this Kecleon finishes me off with another power of Punch. So down goes Paulette, haha <laughs> you got that pun and that name, um, Paulette of my um, Combuskin. And in comes Themistocles, the captain of the um, Greeks that held off the Persians at Sa Salamis. To those of you who are not historians, you don't know what the heck I'm talking about. But anyways, they Aqua Jet that uh, Kecleon and take it down right out. And this is my Life Orb Samurott. And right here he comes Marry Me, his, uh, what's his face, Gardevoir. And I'm thinking that this Gardevoir has a uh, Thunderbolt. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get out of here. I don't want my Samurott going down just yet. I bring Alexander because I know I can take a hit from this thing and outspeed it. And uh, in case if he goes for a Thunderbolt, then I would be fine. But instead he goes for Destiny Bond, I'm like, whoa, don't bring me down with you. Like, uh, <laughs> I don't want that to happen. So it's a good thing it's a shot right there. And I bring in my um, Luxray and he gets out his Ditto. And this is a very good decision for him because he gets off the Intimidate off on my Luxray. And as a result, I have a minus uh, attack. And this Luxray is a physical attacker, so that is bad for me. I go for the Crunch right here just so you can finish off the card before. And that card should do a lot of damage, or even take that Gardevoir right out, because Gardevoirs have really crappy defense. But he just out, and just little intimidates me, and I don't want to stay into that. So I bring in Petra, my Golurk, and his ground type, so his Volt Switch doesn't really affect me. And out comes Game Boy Print, and in comes Fossilizes Cradley. And I actually predict this switch, because I go for that big Ice Punch, whoop pow! Hit them all, hit them with all of that. And um, it takes so much damage from the Ice Punch, even though this is a Cradley, and Cradleys are so damn bulky. But I can do hit KO this Cradley now, with another Ice Punch absolutely um, destroying it. And I think I actually came close, that thing came close to surviving and Giga Draining me, but it's a good thing that um, I took it out with that Ice Punch right there. So that was a great prediction on my part right there, because now my Samurott is just free to spam water moves, because that um, Cradley probably has a um, drain... What's it called again? Storm Drain or something to absorb water moves. I don't want that to happen. Anyways, out comes his uh, Gardevoir. He goes for Moonblast. And it actually takes out my Haunter in one shot because it's a crit. And um, if, if he could, if he didn't get a crit, I could have survived that and retaliated back with a Sludge Bomb and hit this uh, Gardevoir super effectively because it's a Fairy type. Anyways, here comes Alexander again. And right here, I stupidly go for another physical move, but he. Because he, as he brings in his Luxray again, well not his Luxray, but his Ditto, which turns into my Luxray, which would intimidate me, and therefore uh, lower my attack, and I can't really do much for instance this Luxray. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I can't do much of this thing. So I got intimidated by myself, that's pretty funny. Uh, wow, that's such a deep comment. You scare yourself.
Wow, much philosophy. <laughs> so, I can take KO this um, Luxury now, and actually win the Speed Tower right here, which is pretty nice. And down goes his Ditto, my opponent's Ditto. And then comes Marry Me, his Gardevoir, and this Gardevoir is basically um, dead at this point, because it receives so much like uh, damage, but actually he intimidates me again, and I get intimidated by Gardevoir, and who's not scared of a... Uh, um, of, a, of a girl like that, and I get out of there. I bring it to Mothicles, my Samurott, and now it is time to sweep! Well, not really sweep, just hit anything really hard with the Aqua Jet. And I get re hit really hard with this Moonblast. This thing has probably, it's probably modest. That did so much to me. Anyways, with the Aqua Jet, I can take that go to right out. That crit probably didn't matter, but I got some life or max attack. And I start off with 2 HP right here, so this is great. This gives me another chance to smash something with, a, with an Aqua Jet. And this unfortunate Subat is going to be the next recipient of this Aqua Jet. Max attack, adamant, life or boosted, destroyed. So my Samurott took out three of my opponent's Pokemon in this match. So Samurott did a lot of work this match. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. In comes So Hot XP. And I don't know why we would name here our stuff as So Hot. I don't know why. But um, this thing is basically done for because I can just ice punch it with my Golurk. And it will do a heavy, heavy damage to this um, um, stun fist. And actually freeze it. But this stun fist is a fighter because he statics me first of all. And when do you ever see a, a paralyzed ground type? Only in my battles. And he goes for the um, surf. And uh, he falls out right away. So this stun fist is a beast. It's fighting for my uh, opponent. And uh, it's fighting bravely, fighting well. Actually, that's pleased me because he got that um, hacks earlier with that. Uh, with that perilous, per, per, perilous, what the heck, paralysis, and uh, down goes my golder. In comes Parsley, and with Parsley I can just finish it off with one last Leaf Blade and take down So Hot XD. And uh, he actually stabs me again, so this Tethisk is really, really fighting um, really well, but um, it's not enough because I um, defeated Godwin, so that was a good game, Godwin. Um, we battle a lot, and I'm going to upload more battles versus Godwin in the future. And I hope you folks enjoyed this and you battle. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you did. And I'll see you folks next time!